<laughs> Ladies and everyone, welcome to the market. We are so proud to present the 1950 Circus Bill Circus, all the way from three hours away. How are we doing tonight, Accountant Jill? That's pretty loud for some accountants. <laughs> Did we even have accountants in the 50s? Or did we all just do our taxes willy nilly? <laughs> was it just the Wild West? The money was a lawless land in which we could do whatever we wanted. Let's hear it for tax season, accountants. Hot <laughs> taxes. I waited until the last day. And I'm not even in the first attack. I waited until the last day. But you people in accountant bill, that's why you deserve a circus. So here, we're gonna, first we're gonna do my act with me and the horse. And then we're gonna give it up for the latest performer for Circus Bell. The latest and greatest in the juggling community. Yes, there's a whole community where we're from for jugglers. We're gonna get her out here and then we're gonna put her back in the other telephone booth that's right here. <laughs> That we always bring another telephone booth just in case we run out of performers. We get whoever is just on the street in the future, really having an identity crisis. We get them in here. We put them right on stage live, okay? And maybe someone else will show up. I don't know. But we'll at least get rid of her. So let me do the horse thing. Hey, horse, don't hold your horses this time. This is your big moment. <laughs> oh, 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 Tammy, what are you doing here? 
I told you we might bring someone else out of the telephone booth. Well, that's why we keep it around. That's why the horse carries us around the telephone booth. <laughs> What's going on? Where, where am I? Tammy, we're in the 1950s circus bill. Well, right now we're in accountant bill, but what? <laughs> and okay, where's my phone? I have the same reaction. Look, it's going to be okay. All you have to do is juggle, and then we'll get to go back in the telephone. Back, back to the past. Okay. Um, but the machine told me when I like dialed, like there was an operator. Did you know that those are real? Oh my gosh. Yeah. What did the operator say? The operator told me, like, you have to go to the past to figure out your future, your present. You have to figure out what's going on. They told me the same thing. What's going on? What's wrong? I guess my issue is you. You're the first thing I saw when I came out of the telephone booth. And I just have to say, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Um, this is the real act. <laughs> emotional intelligence, emotional maturity, a gun bill. I know you don't get much of it. I know you're sitting behind your screens with your taxes. I know you don't have screens in the 1950s. Right? Yeah. We can learn a thing or two. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, the telephone booth is lighting up. I think it needs you two back. Oh my gosh, already? Yeah, that's kind of unfair. I was on that fucking carriage for like three hours and I had to juggle. Well, it seems like you have a lot more issues than I do. I don't know how we're both gonna fit in here. We've done worse in the stall. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, ladies. We'll see you in the future. <laughs> Give it up for those two ladies from the future. <laughs> and with that, circus, uh, we're going to take a quick intermission and come back. The horse and I are going to do act two. <laughs> it's called Hold Your Me, Horsey. And then I have to be the one who holds my own horsey, not that horsey. He has to hold himself. You know, we're still working on the wordplay. <laughs> we haven't invented stand-up comedy in the 1950s yet. Or maybe we have. I don't know anything about this decade. <laughs>